Hi guys, I'm Anastasia, I'm a luxury bag lover and collector and on this channel I share a lot of uh, bag reviews and important information on authentication, on cleaning your bags, restoring your bags and if you want to keep in touch, just subscribe to the channel. In this video we'll discuss Chanel authentication and what I suggest is before we start just try to define which bag is real and which one is fake. I often get asked like how can you tell if a bag is real or fake and the most basic thing about authenticity is knowing the difference between an authentic bag and a fake bag. Well, basically knowing what an authentic bag looks like. And however, if you don't have that experience, if you haven't seen, I mean, really a lot of uh, authentic bags and fake bags too, if you don't know how good fakes can be, then it might get really hard for you to authenticate. And by the way, we also authenticate Louis Vuitton and Chanel and you can follow the link below just to check the authentication if you need it. Let's start. That's not a typical Chanel bag. It was released a few years back. Uh, it's called Pocket in the City. And I managed to find two bags, well, identical models and one of them is fake. If that's not the first time you are watching an authentication video, you probably know uh, which one is real and which one is fake, but however, not everybody knows that, so let's practice. It's quite easy to see the difference uh, once you have the bags in your hands, but uh, if you just see them on photos and the photos are blurry, you don't know what to look for. First, let's examine the leather. And it's quite easy to see the difference once you have the bags in your hands. But uh, if you just have the photos and the photos are blurry, it can be quite hard to determine which leather is, I mean, prettier. Uh, which has more uh, quality. The two bags are made from different kinds of leather. This one is glazed caviar and it's very firm and pretty nice. And this one just some kind of random soft leather. Well, basically it can be very hard to tell which one is real or which one is fake because one model can be released in different leathers, different colors, so we don't know yet what would be the authentication factor. What I'd really love to share with you in terms of hardware is the way the front metal plate is attached to the pocket flap here. Now let's examine the other differences uh, that these bags have. And to start with, let's open them up and see the inside. That's what the inside looks on a probably authentic bag. And that's what the inside look on a fake bag. So if we compare them, <laughs> there is basically a very little difference to that. In many Chanel authentication guides, you can read that uh, Chanel has superior quality. It looks very expensive, uh, starting from the outside leather of the bag to the uh, inside lining. However, when I first touched this bag, I was sure that it's a fake because well, you can see the quality of the lining. I mean, it looks very, very cheap. What I'd love to share with you is an important authentication factor for Chanel, and that's the Chanel Made In heat stamp. Here is the heat stamp from an authentic bag. It looks very nice. Made in Italy is okay. Chanel bags can be either made in France or made in Italy. And here is a heat stamp from a fake bag. So first of all, an authentic heat stamp often has rounded corners. So they are not quite straightforward as on this one. Second, the font. The font is really important and Chanel has changed many fonts through the years. However, that's what an authentic Chanel made in stamp looks like generally, right? It doesn't look like that. And once you are an authenticator and you see such font, uh, you know immediately that the bag is not authentic. Now, if we look inside this caviar bag, we will find its authentic Chanel serial number looks like. 
Bottom line, this bag is fake, this bag is real, and we finally know the authentication basics, and I really hope it was useful and interesting for you. By the way, if you'd love to learn to authenticate, we have a Louis Vuitton authentication course, and in some time, the Chanel authentication course will also be available on the link below. That was it. If that was interesting to you, subscribe to the channel, and let's stay in touch. Thank you for watching. Bye. Talking about